Hello. Hi, Hugs. Hi, welcome to episode 18 of Trusty Hugs. 18, let's yes. hug. This so is exciting. like the 18th birthday party I've always dreamed of. Oh my God, I'm so pleased. Well, because there are some people here. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> oh my God. Welcome to Trusty Hogs. This is the podcast where we attempt to solve the problems of our We solve all listeners. of your problems. I mean, sometimes we make it worse. We solve them. But we them. try to lead by example, I think, by mm-hmm. telling everyone about our, frankly, perfect lives. We're just going to tell you how amazing our lives are. And then we've got an amazing guest try coming on. Try not to be too impressed. Oh my gosh, we have the best guest. We're so excited. I love her and hate her in equal measure. I just love her. Sindhu V is going to be here you. later. Now I look like an asshole. You do. You're such a con. <laughs> it's so excited. Oh, it's too early in the podcast to say jump. No, no it's fine. never too it's early fine. to say okay, con. Okay, great, great, great. Con, click, con, what? <laughs> the Clint Clint Clint. Clint. The Clint Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Trusty Hogs. Right? <laughs> Through the fog, step forth the Trusty Hogs. Yeah, you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them. Or maybe they won't and that's your problem. They'll have guests and Andrew White on the tech. The trusty hogs, trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. That was oh, good. Nice. So I'm nice. sorry, we, that was our first proper intro. We've I know. Done. Finally, it only took us 18 episodes to like, really <laughs> sum it up, and I think it's beautiful. How? Nice and brief. I'm so proud of us. Tell me about how successful you've been this week. Well, I, I almost want to cut to the success of Andrew White because it's such a huge story we have to tell you this week. As uh, many regular listeners will know, our good friend Andrew White has been ghosted so many times. It almost mm-hmm. stops being funny, but then swings back around to funny again. Mm-hmm. However, last ghoster, ghost number three, mm. not only ghosted him, Despite the fact that he lives on the same fucking street as him, which is like savage, oh he also stole from him. Mm-hmm. But last night it was just to be clear, to someone who's listening to this for the first time, stole. It wasn't like a financial fraud. It was no. a pair of Wellington boots and a flat cap like a <laughs> farmer, so he could dress up like Mr. Tweedy from the Chicken Run yeah, for we, Halloween. Andrew, like it wasn't like no, it's not a criminal case. No, it's you're right. I and mean, the police told me as such. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so stop calling. It's, oh, we won't. We won't deal with this. Andrew, you got your flat cap and your Wellies back, and I need to know how. I did, yes. Um, I've, I've got, um, I've got them here. <gasps> oh my god! Even M's happy for you. Like I this know. is so lush. This is so great. So, Look at M with her headphones on. M, do you? I know that you hate being filmed, and I'm sorry, but I'm proud of you for doing. Yes, peace <laughs> signs. Okay, Andrew, please tell us everything. Wait, is that train? Sorry, is that train louder than normal? I feel like we haven't closed one of the doors. Uh, that was crazy loud. Yeah. Well, oh, have we closed both of the doors? Yeah. Okay. Oh we, my God! We'll, God forbid we'll I do on. anything. I'm so sorry. Okay, Andrew, tell us. You um got your wellies and flap cap back. How? Mm-hmm. Um. Well, uh, he 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 went out drinking, and then messaged me on Grinder at two a.m. Questions, time. questions, questions. When's the last time you spoke? Oh, t- literally Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Lucky okay. Ghost number three was definitely like all Hallows Eve, and that's the okay. Last time so we heard we're from talking him. months and months and months of that contact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do you think he? Here's my follow-up question. Do you think he heard you were looking for your wellies and flat cap via the podcast? Uh, I, fo- I know he didn't, unfortunately. <gasps> no! no! That's my dream. I was, I was like, like tweeting it to like Bournemouth forums constantly, <laughs> hoping that someone will pick up on it. Okay, I fine. I'm sure we did it. We got it back for you. No. Okay, so he just he's out drinking and he messages you at 2 a.m. on Grinder. Yeah, yeah. And says what? He says, hey, I'm sorry. Would you like your wellies back? And I say, yes, please. He said, okay. I'll Wait, be- Andrew, did you reply at 2 a.m.? I was, yeah, I was up and, and well, that's why, because you can see that I was active and you can see my profile. Um, oh, why were yeah, you active I, at I 2 a.m.? You, know God, you know what, you're right, why, this is so many this more is, questions. Why were you active at 2 a.m. on Grinder, Andrew? <laughs> my house note was, was out and I was, no, no I don't. You were going to have someone over no, at 2.30? No, I wasn't going to have someone over. I yes, was, you were, Andrew. I was, I was very bored and lonely. Um, I love to see a sweet prince winning at life. <laughs> Andrew, you're up at 2 a.m., you're on Grinder looking for anyone, just Not anyone <laughs> to come over because your housemate's out. God, I love you. And then this guy gets in touch and says, sorry, not good enough. Um, sorry, do you want your wellies back? And you say yes. I say yes, please. He <laughs> said, I can be over in a few minutes. Tonight? That night? <laughs> that night, yeah. Well, because he lives like two minutes walk away from me. My heart. Yeah, but just drop them in the morning. Well, I'm up, he's up. Okay. <laughs> oh, hang on. Okay, so he comes over. Does exactly. he just leave them outside, Andrew, like a normal person? Just pops them on the doorstep and runs away? Uh, <laughs> in a way. Andrew. So he says, I'll explain everything when I get there. So he comes around and he says, 
he says, I, I can, can send me this, this bag for life with the wellies and the flat cap. Oh, which bag for life? Uh, it was a oh, good question, actually. Um, Co op, Tesco, Aldi, Asda. No, I think it was a Lidl. I think it was Lovely Lidl. stuff. Yeah, I love fine, Lidl. Fine, no judgment. Go on. That's not his crime. Go no. on. <laughs> and he said, he said um, Should I come in? I said, he said, I don't have to come. I can just drop them and go. And I said, No, come in. <laughs> Andrew, no, why? I love that. Because you no. want to know. I'm with you, Andrew. You no. want to know. Tell come me. in and tell I me what happened. Tell me on the yeah. fucking Shut truth. up. He's speaking his truth. <laughs> you literally just spat on my nose. I'm a very passionate woman. <laughs> I'm just saying, tell me on the doorstep and then fuck off. Um, no, I invite him in and I, I get him a drink of water. And Cute. He's telling me that he basically left it a few days because um, he thought, like, thing, well, he was, wasn't sure whether things were like, moving too quickly. We just had quite a lot of dates in quick succession. I don't think things were moving too quickly, but whatever. Fine. He <laughs> thought it was moving too quickly. Yeah, so yeah. He thought he'd just take a few, like, a few days like away. Right. And then it was like, oh, now it's awkward to message again. And then it became, month, and he's basically got too anxious to message. Okay. That, that was the news. Um, Fine. And then uh, I, I, I just caught him. He just caught me. Caught me at the right time and said, said he wanted to mess, bring them back. Sorry. I, okay. You, he caught you at the right time and said he wanted to bring them back. Yeah. And then what? How does he go from that to leaving? To leaving your house, Andrew. He 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 might not have left my house. Andrew. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? What, Use we, your big boy words, Andrew. We didn't. We didn't do anything. But Andrew, as Helen sleep said, over. wait. He slept in your bed. Yeah. But you didn't touch. No, no, not. Well, you know, obviously you're in a touch of your sleeping. Oh my somebody, god! But not like hand stuff. No, no. Mouth Mouth stuff? Did you kiss? No, none stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, we kissed a bit. Dry but... humping. No. You kissed. You kissed, and he slept in your bed. Yeah, yeah. Neck yeah. breathing. No. Ear play. No, no. no. Breath play. No. no. You no. kissed, and he slept in your bed, yeah. even though he stole from you, and we've all been fucking rooting for you, Andrew. I, uh, we were rooting for you, Andrew. Andrew. I'm you so rewarded happy. him for bad behaviour. Why are you no, happy? No, he got it back. It was good behaviour in the end. No, we have to allow this Bournemouth man's anxiety to be itself. You know. Uh, I'm sorry, Andrew. He... Have you spoken to him since? Uh, no, I've not messaged him since. Has he messaged you, Andrew? It was two a.m. yesterday. I can. Um, no, he's not messaged me yet. Oh, it was yesterday. Yeah. Was... And he hasn't messaged you since. No. Does that make you feel used? No. Cold. No. Abandoned. No. Okay. I feel like you're trying to give me a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's actually a really sweet story of even though you think the wellies are gone, they will come back if you allow him in your bed for the night at 2 a.m. No, I mean... Which is like a gay fairy tale. Like the tortoise in the hair, the wellies and the cock. I, I feel like it's... <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah, but like a grim fairy tale, not like an... Like an oh, yeah, but sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tragic and... Disney will buy the rights, but they'll really twist it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, like, he was, he was very apologetic and he was just like, I can drop them and leave. And I, I, I was kind of... You know, he wasn't expecting anything from me. I was kind of being uh, forgiving and generous. So happy you got a full circle okay. moment. And would you like to see him again, Andrew? Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind going for another coffee with him. Oh. You know, I don't. Uh, but I realise it's going to be really awkward to kind of get back over the the four months of of Welliless. People have got over less. Do you know what I mean? Did you say Willyless or Welliless? Well, well Willy both. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Diana that knew that Charles was with Camilla and was still with him for a couple of years, you know, because she loved him. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. So, uh -huh. like, people come over things all the time, you know? So are the wellies Camilla? My dad didn't know what Cunnilingus was, and my mum stayed with him for 26 years. <laughs> wow. You know? And that's a direct quote from her. You know, people can get over anything if they love them enough. Well, but ultimately did end in divorce. Did end in divorce. Yeah, oh, 100%. Divorce. Yeah, 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 well, she learned what mansplaining was. But Sure, sure, sure. Wow. Wow, Andrew. I'm. You know what? I'm really grateful to your friend Danica who I know for a fact told Andrew if you're going to tell the story on the podcast you have to tell the whole truth <laughs> nothing but the truth I was going to I well, wasn't going what to. were you going to admit <laughs> I weighing, Andrew I was weighing up like creating some fa fantastical story about like triangulating his position using Grinder and turning up on his door and Stop. demanding them back bullshit but um I, I was like I can't I can't Danica would immediately like email in and although I could just delete the email but she would <laughs> 
<laughs> like a psychopath. Yeah, yeah. Already, you thought about the line, you thought about covering your tracks. Yeah. Andrew's the sort wow. of guy when he commits murder will show up at the hunt for the body and be like, what happened, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Just really involved in the drama. But also, it. he so has our number because he knows we do none of the admin. I didn't even know we had an email address. So, Trappyhogs um, at gmail.com. Great. Thank you. But we don't know how to log in and we don't want to know. I know what the password is. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I'm really behind. It's lucky ghost the number three. <laughs> it is now. Is it? No. Oh, that would have been great. Now it's okay. his back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm and really yeah. happy for you. I genuinely am. Thank I you. disapprove. That's and fair. I think you know that. Because yeah, I, I gave you a flat cap for Christmas and now you've got a new one. Yeah. What's going to happen to the flat cap I well, gave you? Now you give me a flat cap, you're entitled to sleep in my bed. That's kind of the, that's the rules for With Andrew, tongue stuff, kissing. I'll do tongue stuff with you. Oh, oh. I hate it. Come on over. I'll do tongue stuff Both with you. Both of you wearing your matching hat flat caps. Like. <laughs> just me, like, really breathing heavy on Andrew's neck. Like, I'm not going to touch you. I'm just going <sighs> to... Oh, actually, do you know the worst part he said about matching flat cap? He said he went to put down the seats of his car to take his friends somewhere, and he found wellies in the boot of his car anyway. He had, he had a pair. He didn't need my pair. Didn't need my wellies in the end. This has all been for nothing? Yeah. But then if he didn't help. take your wellies, he'd never have been reunited, Andrew. Um... Yeah, I suppose. Also, he may have never ghosted me. I don't know. I don't know how. Oh, you're right. You're right. I don't know how awkward the wellies played a part in him disappearing. God. Modern love. I know, right? Yeah. Who would have thought wellies? And all in Bournemouth. It does. It, no, it's the only place I can think of where wellies would play such a fundamental part in a love story. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Somerset, isn't it? No, Dorset. Dor fuck, I always do that. He, it's hard. He it's saying, hard. Because like, we, we were still friends. When I say he ghosted me, he just stopped replying. He was still friends on Snapchat and still following me on Instagram. And he said, because you can check people's location on Snapchat, he would like check my location to see that I was if I was like out of town at a gig or something. He knew it was safe to walk down the high street. <gasps> so like, for three months, he was Are just you anxious. Are fucking kidding? Why is he making you into the bad guy? You didn't do anything to make that him That makes it sound like you're scary no, to run into. I, I'm, I'm pretty intimidating. Well, I always run yeah, into right. you and you've just got like a little Sainsbury's meal deal. And it's yeah, like, oh, hi, yeah. Helen. I'd have a lovely Sainsbury's meal deal. Yeah. I guess oh, he did was you just good, good, yeah. He must have been really anxious if he was going to that bother. What did exactly. you do to him, Andrew? I didn't do anything. I think he's Sounds like you're the bad guy. Wow. And what's weird is that you call it ghosting because ghosts are always with you right like if you have a ghost it's not like they disappear yeah, they're, they're always there God, so it's a stupid wise. it's like catfishing as a phrase you're so yeah. wise I don't get it why didn't you get catfishing because it's what's it got to do with the ocean um hello <laughs> I don't. That's a good question. I don't actually know the origins of the catfishing. It doesn't term. make sense that and ghosting. Because if ghosts were something that would just you see them once and you're like, oh, I'm interested, and they go, then it wouldn't be. You know, we wouldn't have most haunted. Wow. What would that fielding be doing? You're so is she dead right. now? I don't know what is yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, One of them died. I guess she'll still be with us. Died. She's gonna be a ghost. You know, Avet will be. Mm. Now, speaking of Bournemouth and other shit places in the UK, you've recently been to Wales. <laughs> no, Wells. Wells. <gasps> Careful. Misheard you. If you say anything bad about the Welsh. Oh, I fully support them, and I think that they have a real language. Okay, will that wow. Do? Will are, that we, do? are we treading into like, <laughs> nervous ground right now? <laughs> no, what's Wells? Wells is a town in Can you see Somerset. how I confuse those? I 100% okay, do. Great. But I feel like last week we struggled with Ireland and Ireland. I did never struggle and now with I, that. You really struggled, I babe. don't think I did. It, go back and listen to last week's one. <laughs> I don't think that's Catherine right. had a freak out. It was basically Wells is one place in Somerset and Wales is a country yes. within a country. Yes. I went to Wales no, in Somerset. No, not within a country. That is also part of a, a United Kingdom. It's not within the country. Well, there's not much united about it at the moment. Oh, my right. Am I right, guys? <laughs> okay, talk to me no, about Wells. Wells in Somerset is the nicest town. Oh, is it's it? where they filmed, what's it called, Hot Fuzz? Oh, it's a pretty. It's fucking gorgeous. Interesting. And it was just me and like just loads of retirees. Like everyone was like over 100 yeah. years old. And I was with another girl. Did I think you were so fit. They could not believe that I was there. Couldn't they could not eye, believe it. They were yeah. like, she's so young. She's so fresh. She's got a whole life ahead of us. I was going yeah. around being like, I'm 80 tomorrow. And they were like, <laughs> what? It felt so powerful. <laughs> They've got a cathedral, which every taxi driver told me took 400 years to build. Like, that was a good thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like they were all so proud it took 400 years to like we're pretty that, slow around that here <laughs> bad isn't it i yeah. know builders always say three months and then it's six like no that's who's not... quoting that and that means that people lived and died building the same cathedral yeah 
Could you imagine yeah. if you spend your whole life it doing also, one turret and you die and it's still not the opening? It also means people paid for it who'd never even ordered it. Like, I didn't even order this cathedral. What? That's it's crazy. It's stupid. And they were so happy about it, which shows how backwards they are there. <laughs> and then the other girl I was with was charmed by every old couple. She was like, oh, I love them. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. And I had to spend basically like four days just convincing her that old people aren't cute. They're racist pricks. Oh, yeah. No, that's true. But also, I just when I see them, I don't think cute. I just think, oh, God, one of them's going to die and the other one's just going to have to be left to deal with Exactly. You know I mean? But they like, don't even oh. like each other. Like, she wasn't <laughs> listening to what they were saying. <laughs> there was one old couple at breakfast at the Swan Inn Best Western. Shout out. <laughs> and they were arguing about sausages the whole breakfast but she was deaf he was deaf oh my god and they were just screaming at each other basically saying like you're a fucking cunt you don't need it john and like she was just like she oh, said cunt. they're in love <laughs> and it's like no they they're planning the murder they hate she hopes he chokes on a sausage it was that's crazy madness but i think i will retire there okay lovely mm -hmm. love that for you mm -hmm. it's interesting that um, <gasps> also oh my god Whoa. i forgot to say that no, i wasn't gonna finish Andrew that and M, you're gonna freak that's out cool. no, no no, no I'll, this forget is worth me. it so i checked into the hotel and do you ever have one of those moments where you're sort of like it's all coming up helen or you'd have it's all coming up Catherine. yeah i guess it makes oh no there sometimes was a i think shop it's all coming up helen two doors down from the hotel and this had a sign poking out said we love flapjacks excuse me what? i love flapjacks <laughs> so i was automatically very intrigued nice and? It was called Flapjackery. <gasps> it was a flapjack shop. I was charmed. <laughs> oh my God. I'm charmed on your back. Charmed. So what flavors are we talking? I lost my fucking mind. I spent over 20 pounds on what? flapjacks <laughs> in two days. My first one won a taste, best taste award. I'm 2021. It was called the Christmas Millionaire Slice. Tell me. Bit out of date, but they're still swapping over their flavors. Sure, sure, sure. Tell me. Flapjack, yeah. family size, but for one, if you're focused. Sure. Layer of caramel, yeah. little bit of shortbread, <gasps> chocolate. Oh, fuck. All on a flapjack. Fuck. Made there. Shortbread on the flapjack. Yes! Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> and that was £4.50, right? That's but then crazy. they had this deal going on. Okay, tell me. That was £12.50 for three flapjacks, right? Okay, you're saving some cash. You're saving no, some No, no, no. So four flapjacks. You're saving a lot oh, of you're cash. You're saving loads of cash. Saving a lot of cash. And then you can pick whichever ones you want. Check Cherry Bakewell, chocolate fudge brownie <gasps> flapjack. I'm not even fucking joking. They had a mince pie flapjack. Yeah. But I didn't get it because I hate mince pies. Okay. And then I got, right, a fudge flapjack, where it's a flapjack with a layer of clotted cream fudge <gasps> on top. Oh my fucking God. And do you want to hear something mad? The two people that work there, thin. What? <laughs> Oh, does that mean they tasted bad? I just assume they're bulimics. Oh, they have... I don't, okay, yeah, tasted bad. I was like, oh, they've got to be purging I'd in the back. I'd just be like, this food's shit. Or I'd be like, it's like punitive. Like they hate themselves so much that they're like feeders. What's going Who on? Who fucking knows what's so, going so, on? Were they good? Yeah, because I went in there every day. Yeah. And then the guy gave me this piece of paper and he was like, you can order this to your house. We do UK delivery <gasps> anywhere. Why would he tell you that? I, I literally screamed at him in the shop. I was like, this is fucking, this is bad information to give people like me. Because I bought a box of gifts for friends from Flapjackery, oh which I've now eaten because oh, I, I haven't seen them yet. No, okay. they're gone. No, okay. They're okay. gone. I didn't get one of those. <laughs> I was like, oh, and you going to... It gonna... started. I thought you were going to be like, and here they are now. I no. bought a box of four and I was like, okay, well, I'll have one yeah. and then I'll lie to them and say it came as a box of three. Of course. And then I was like, Okay, well, two, and that'll be fine. Yeah. And then those have slowly been going down as <laughs> so I've been chopping at them. It's been a bit of a disaster. So now I've got to do an order because I've already told them they've got flapjacks coming. You didn't mention anything to me about No. That's crazy. No. Am I going ah! Um, like, <laughs> um, will I be getting a? Can I'm sorry. A, I'm actually uh, gift wise. They do a I feel like you're one? good for a while. Okay, fair. Yeah, that's so fair. That's do you know so what fair. I mean? I, that's completely fair. Even though you're gonna hate this, um, Sunil Patel went to Brighton, and I messaged him because it's like a couple of our friends' birthdays this weekend. Yeah. Heidi, Janine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nathan, the yeah. gang, and so I was like, oh shit, I've done the girls, but can you get something for Nathan, please? You're in Brighton sorry, all day. Do you give gifts as a pair now, like a little old married couple? <laughs> Yes, because everyone else is coupled up and I refuse to pay individually. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I think that's so smart. So he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the perfect thing. I'll show you later, which obviously made my whole body nervous. Okay. So he went into a, fill me with a weed vape shop no. in Brighton. Does Nathan and smoke weed? <laughs> we all smoke weed. Oh. I don't because it makes me sick and paranoid and cry. Okay. But other, the, the cool kids do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he got two rolling trays. And the one he got Nathan, Nathan won't listen to this because it's birthday Saturday. It's but one it's like, for him? Or one? Yeah. No, no. 
one we already given as another gift. Okay. Um, to Red Richardson. Okay, I see it. Um, and Sunil got Nathan a rolling tray that says Call of Doobie. <laughs> Oh no! And it's the Call of Duty man smoking a fat joint is with a Nathan, gun. Is Nathan a big Call of Duty Nathan's fan? Nathan's gonna fucking hate it. And what's worse is I'm really good friends with Nathan's girlfriend Esme. She's gonna be fucking livid. Oh really? Because Esme's in charge of the flat. Because basically we'll have to get Nathan on. But Nathan lives with his girlfriend who makes boob pots based on actual women's breasts. Oh stunning! So whenever someone comes over and she's not there, he looks like a pervert, which yes, I love. I love that. <laughs> it's just boobs everywhere. <laughs> He's just like, hey man, do you wanna? Yep, yeah, boiler's fucked. Uh, I've got, <laughs> I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> and then it's gonna be all this beauty, and then just Call of Doobie in the middle. Oh, that's hideous. <laughs> that's hideous. Yeah, that could really, that would have been leveled out with a bit of a flapjack. So from now there. onwards, any friends of me and Snails, you'll be receiving either a rolling tray called Call of Doobie or a flapjack I've already eaten. Oh, I'd love a flapjackery flapjack. Do they have any gluten free you? options? They did. Really? Let me order some for you. I'd love that. Um, Andrew? Yeah, please, yeah. Yeah? Any particular flavours? The cherry bakewell, I says, very good. Yeah, I'd like the chocolate fudge brownie. I'd like the fudge. Done. Done. I'd like the millionaire square. The whatever, millionaire. whatever gluten free option they have. But they had white chocolate and raspberry. That's not, that's a no from me. Okay. They did classic. Mm, no. They had plain chocolate like, orange. Oh, nice! Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I don't usually like flapjacks because I think they're too plain. But when we're now we're talking, now we're talking. No, but they love flapjacks. And you love flapjacks. I get it. I get it. It's gosh, what like where like? would you stay if they had a shop two doors down that was we love something? Would you just be like, I've made it? Oh, if they were like, we love brulee. Or, <laughs> or we love burning. Doesn't that literally or, mean we love burning? Or we love brownies. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, there's a we love brownies in every corner. I know, of and that's the thing. It's not where it's why, which is why I said brulee because there's a brulee van in Edinburgh. Okay, so the <gasps> thing I've missed most about the comedy festival is there is a brulee van, Stop. and they do seven or eight different types mm. of creme brulee, and they're all fucking amazing. And also, like, how extravagant to wobble out a gig like drunk at two a.m. and be like, I think I'll have the lavender. Creme brulee, please. <laughs> it's so great. You don't get snacks like that. I could be the only person that's craved a creme brulee when fun. Oh my God, of course. Don't you ever get a creme brulee when you're drunk in Edinburgh? Never. And I don't think that makes what? me weird. Oh, I love the creme brulee van. I go there all the time. I hate eating in Edinburgh. Oh my God, no, I love it. I love there. And there's also a hot dog van that does the best verst. And there's also a mac and cheese van, which I'm <laughs> definitely allergic to. The mac and cheese they van is amazing. They put mac and cheese in a sandwich, mm -hmm. in a toasted sandwich. What the fuck are you talking about? Yes, please. I love your shock at that. Whereas any other compulsive overeaters, alongside myself, had discovered that age six. Okay, I love it so much. <laughs> I also love... Very rare I see something where I'm like, that's new. Oh, what I got... <laughs> okay, well, it's amazing. I mean, I know I just want to list Edinburgh eateries, but oh my God, check out my camera. <gasps> Van. I love it so much. Um, the thing I have about eating in Edinburgh, love it in general. Yeah. But during the festival, whenever I'm eating, I always run into someone and have that. to have a conversation. Yeah. And like, it's very like dehumanizing trying to talk about how well your show's going whilst dripping mac and cheese down your front. I hear you. Whilst just... in front of a board that says you haven't sold out. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just, there's a lot of layers of sadness no, that right. I can't actually take. I, I do hate that aspect of the fringe that, like, you cannot go anywhere or look shit for five seconds or be shoving a sandwich of mac and cheese into your face without being like, oh, hello, um, superior acquaintance slash co-worker. Mm -hmm. How good to see you while I'm rushing somewhere and shoving this whole thing in my you face. You never look like you're rushing somewhere. Whenever I think of you in Edinburgh, I picture you with an espresso martini in hand. Oh, that's so nice. It's so dignified oh, and classy. Remember I mean, the year where I cried every day yeah like but like 24 7 yeah and you were always there with like an espresso martini don't look so happy about this no, no, this no, is the no, thing this no. is the thing right, I, I love you i love you more than life itself i, I do but you thrive when your friends are in pain or mental anguish <laughs> that is when you come alive I, it is fucking psychotic if you go to Catherine and go i'm having a really tough time she's like i'll fix it <sighs> <laughs> it's so bad. I'll, I'll cook for you and put blankets. No. I'll put blankets on you. Like, you fucking love it. Do you want a dog? I'll borrow a dog. I don't love it, <laughs> but I am good in a crisis. I think it's... I think it's more like, I'm glad that's your abiding memory of me and not like why I'm drinking espresso martinis at 2 a.m., which is like, oh, if I, if I drink this, I can stay up later and hate myself for longer. Let's go. 
so I'm like, I think it's sweet. But yeah, I, why do I love a crisis? That's so fucked. You're right. Part of me is like, I think it's because you want to make people feel better. I think it's part of why you're a comedian is because you want to make people laugh and have yeah, a nice time. Yeah, but I shouldn't time. be like munchausening my friends. But you know what like, I mean? I'm, like, I don't want to be the person. It's like it is a bit Irish, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, all my Irish friends are a bit like that. Like, yeah. Oh my god, she's gonna kill herself. Gather, gather, gather. <laughs> <laughs> All of them just jumping on the ferries, like, we're coming, London! Why are they rowing the ferries? I don't know! Do you have motors? I don't know! We even have planes, Helen, imagine! Oh, okay, I mean, of course Wait, you do. Of course you, you do. do, of course you do, bless her. Multiple that. airports, Jesus. Yeah, Aer Lingus, like, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad, because it's definitely not an airline, so it's spelled Aer on. Oh, my God. <laughs> A-E-R. Okay, yeah, I'm going to pay you to take me into the air. <laughs> I thought it was the name for the Irish Mile High Club. <laughs> I had to be like, no, it's the plane. Oh, my God. Wowzers. I can't with this. We are so excited to have our guest on this week. She also tweets about the podcast every week. I think she actually listens. It's so exciting. She tweets and supports it and then constantly trolls me the rest yeah, of the time. Yeah, she's so rude and supportive. I love her. Guys, it's the incredible comedian that is Sindhu V. Sindhu V. Aber Hallöchen. I have some previews coming up as Helen, by the way. You can tell by the accent. I am thinking that you guys should come and see me do work in progresses. Otherwise, it's going to be incredibly lonely and kind of sad, right? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, all right, Hugh. So basically, I've got some coming up with Catherine Bohar on the 31st and the 7th of February in London. And then I'm in Leicester. I'm in Edinburgh. I'm in Brighton. I'm in Bristol. All the tickets are at my website, which is helenbauer.co.uk. I thought it was Helen Bauer Comedy. Been promoing that wrong forever. (laughs) Please. That's bad, isn't it? Please. Please. Please go. She's going to be amazing. I'll be there for some of them. And also, please come see me on tour, CatherineBowheart.com. The tour is called This Isn't For You. And I start in Leicester and then two weeks at Soho Theatre. And boy, oh boy, do I need some gays to and come Emma to Soho. Black's coming. Yeah, that's so sweet. <laughs> but please come to Soho because the tickets haven't sold yet. Thanks. Danke schön. Bye. Slon. Germina Walker. Slon. Aurora. And we'll point out that new we'll talk about Aurora. Do you like Aurora? Mm-hmm. Are we also, really good for racism. First one with her uh, brown eyes. Oh, sorry. Oh. Guys, we're recording. Cindy V is here and she's eating no, a sandwich. No, because I can't start it by saying Aurora was a really good Disney princess for racism because she had brown eyes. Okay, let's, let's no, start again. Yeah. for racism is Jasmine. Okay, we'll start again. We'll start again. With a pet tiger? I know, but also with that whole look. And it's like, who, who is this? We'll start and again. Of course, every girl in India was like, oh, look at this foreigner. Because she didn't look She's like... She's in Morocco. Oh, whatever. India, Morocco, you know, from that point of view. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, we're in. If I said that, I'd be in so much trouble. So yeah. thank you for saying it. I Dindu genuinely v appreciate is here. it. Uh, <laughs> v brought Lauren Perrier. Let's what? get fucked up. She's so fancy. Wait, is this expensive? I think the yeah, word you're looking nice... for is classy. Yeah, she's classy. How much is this? No, no, that's not classy. <laughs> I don't... I didn't pay for that. Wasn't it a gorgeous? I don't pay for shit. You didn't pay for it? You stole? No, you I stole had sex this? With, for it. Oh my <gasps> god, Cindy! Thank you, husband. Yeah, I'm sorry Cindy. about this. Sorry about this glass. I'm sorry about the glass. It's, no, no, that's fine. It's I'll not take as it. nice as the champagne deserves. There we go. You. <laughs> You're so welcome. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I just up my tin foil. It's all right. Have your Some people would like that for ASMR. Um, I bought my kid ASMR slime that she can make from New York. Stop. What? Oh, wait, so it makes like the popping no, so sounds? She first has to make it about a slime kit and then you can put the sound and then you get ASMR slime. I, oh my God. It's so Can great. I offer Andrew and No, Andrew, everyone must drink. Please, okay, okay. Except I, you who's on some drinking fast. I know, I'm sorry. I'm One sorry. One year though, that's impressive. I'm going to. I mean, I'm already on 30 days, so let's oh. do this. Thing. Did you not even drink last night? No. <gasps> the other thing is, you guys, I started vaping. I love it so no. much. No. Okay, first of all, it's the best. Jewel forever. No, yes, it's, it's, it's What no, if you get flavor? Popcorn mango. Long. No, what about when you get popcorn okay, lungs? Okay. No, no. Let me tell you about popcorn and lungs. Okay. I did my research, and okay. of course, I didn't have to do much research to be like cigarettes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, cancer. yeah, but enough to feel good. You had to do research to find out cigarettes are no, bad no, for I you. I didn't have okay. to. No, but not bad for you, but like how? Cancer. Now, the, what I've learned about cancer yeah. is once it gets in you, it's very out of your control. Yeah. People can try, and they can't do anything about it. Preach. So, cancer is it's like a wild animal in your body. Yeah. 
Hot take from Cindy V. Cancer is bad. We're no, lying. No, in a specific way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Falling down and hurting yourself is bad, but not in a cancer way. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now with Jewel, I did a lot of research. The big, big risk is not lung disease. It's cardiovascular disease. Come on, every goddamn tube station has a defibrillator. I have a heart attack, they'd be like, boof, like an iPhone, bang, I'll come back. <laughs> it's not out of control. So it's not that you think it's, that you won't have cardiac arrest, it's that you're like, I'll be fine. Yeah, it's not a wild animal running around it's my body. It's gonna happen at some point, and it's also, inevitable. And also, the thing about heart attacks is, if they're really bad, then om namah shivaya, you're gone, finished. Oh, but if they're God. not that bad, they bring you back, it's fine. They do that. Is- and then I know you'd feel I'm not. I smoke still, so I don't know. Like. Yeah, yeah, but you're young. I smoke Yeah, exactly. Really. You were smoking at my age, right? I had cigarettes I with you before. I smoked so much in my life and I miss it. So you much. were smoking last month, Cindy. Why no, are we no. acting like it was Helen's age? August. No, between August and December 30th, I smoked all the time. Wow. I'm, then, pr- I'm proud of you for vaping because that seems better. It is better. You're a I vapist. Just, I, just, I just explode. <laughs> 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 I just explained to you it's not that bad. Okay. I told you she's not nice to me. She's in great. In her intro. She's like, great. Catherine was like, I love her so much. She's so great. And I was like, yeah, she's great. But she's like, you do bully me a bit. What? I she mean, just stands up to online, you. Online, anything I post, any slight spelling <laughs> mistake, or um, God knows what a comma is, but apparently you do. And no, you don't. It, well, it doesn't matter. Ooh. And then I just get My like... My eyeballs bleed. Cindy V's replied to it, and I'm like, oh, this will be funny. But it's never funny. It's because just like, I oh, actually, it. Helen, it's this. And wow. it's like, it's not helping anyone. It's, oh, it's just, helping you. know you. it pisses me off. I don't care. I don't learn. I no, don't love But that doesn't mean learn. I won't try. <laughs> Remember the story of the sage and the scorpion. Never forget that story. What story? Tell us this the, is the thing. What, no what story one knows is the sage that. and the scorpion? So one time there's this guy and he's at the banks of the Ganges hanging out because he's like, whatever, it doesn't do much. And then he sees a scorpion and it's walking towards the water and it's going to drown. And then he sees a sage walk by and the sage picks up the scorpion and puts him on the dry step. And of course, the scorpion bites him and a bit of poison goes in the sage. He's a little no. affected. And then the scorpion, as soon as he puts him down on dry land, again walks towards poor spelling, you know? Yeah. Walk, walk, walk <laughs> towards the water, and the sage brings him back, and, he's, and he stings him again. And, you know, if you are repeatedly stung by scorpions, you'll die because you get too much poison. This happens three, four times. The spelling is not getting better. Scorpion is heading towards the water every time. Sage is bringing him back, saying, it's apostrophe R-E. Uh, not Y-O-U-R. And then, finally, the guy on the bank says, sage, sage. Why do you keep bringing him back even though he doesn't learn spelling? And you know what the sage says? He must be him and I must be me. I will always correct you on Twitter if you spell wrongly. (laughs) You don't have to learn. That's That's a horrible story for me. What part about beautiful? In this scenario, um, Sindhu's killing herself. Cindy's oh. killing herself. So I can learn how to spell you And are. you're actively toxic. So really. <laughs> you're not toxic at all. I mean, you're only toxic to people who are like wimpy. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. My that's baby boys. Towards... Yeah, it was disgusting oh, to watch. Did you throw champagne down yourself? I've never seen you make a mistake like that. She's uh, because, human. You know, because there was so little and I thought there was more. So I swigged along. <laughs> <along. laughs> wow, she made that my fault. See, it's a quick so blame fast. game. So fast. She was like, there's so little in this pint the glass. Is, I'm <laughs> genuinely nervous saying anything right now because you've just come in and told us that can you've I been vape? triggered for the first you time. Can Cindy oh. vape? Please, I yeah. beg you. Just a quick little Sure, vape. we don't care. <laughs> we don't care. I Go for it. So my much. housemate vapes at home and the room smells like mango. Oh, no. Nice. Well, yeah, I think people who stop smoking and then they vape pomegranate. It's like, what the fuck were you smoking, jackass? So what do you smoke? Mint. Menthol. Oh, menthol. Oh, nice. Yes. Who has pomegranate cigarettes? What kind of half ass shit I is once that? had just yeah. floral. Eat vote. a fruit. <laughs> yeah, eat a fruit and then just have a cigarette. It's like, be normal. It's yeah. nice to have different flavors. It's like shisha. You know, it's the excitement of it. I don't like shisha. Do you not at all? It feels like a thing where everybody's had their mouth on that and I don't like it. No, that. no, no, but you have your own thing that you put yeah, on. Yeah, you have your own But little... do they not reuse those? No, they no, come in a little plastic your own thing. In a plastic. You bring your own. You can bring yeah. your own in a plastic. But the, the, okay. the problem with shisha is. I guess I associate it with like my grandfather and a very, and that's crazy. I associate it with a very feudal patriarchal setup where they all the men used to sit around and do hookah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And and of course women could do it, but they had to do it secretly. And so, so when I see work. that, I'm like, I'm just gonna pull out a cigarette and smoke it in your fucking face. Like I have nice. a bad reaction. Nice. I might have what's nice. called a trigger. Can we talk about that? Yes, please. Oh my gosh. So before we started recording, Cindy just Did casually mentioned a warning talking about triggers. No, we don't. Okay. We casually, Cindy just casually mentions that she now believes 
in triggers. And we were both like, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Cindy, you didn't believe in triggering. It's not that I didn't believe in it. I thought it was one of those things that only Say happens. It. No, that only happens to people <laughs> who've had what I would call actual trauma. So okay. not me. Like I was never in a car accident. I was never abused. Yeah. No, I was never oh abused as a child. Oh, one you know thing you should know about Cindy V is her bar for actual trauma is so fucking high. Yeah, 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 Cindy, yeah. you absolutely have had trauma. Yeah, but so I got traumatized because I hugged someone and they didn't hug me back enough. Okay, that's not like, that's, that's not, not that's trauma. not the same. That that kind of thinking is why I didn't believe in triggers because I was yeah. like, people who say they get triggered talk that kind of shit, and then I was like, oh. <laughs> You know, but I mean that in a good way. But um, Don't touch me. Because <laughs> that will be another trauma. Another trauma! Uh, it's a trauma! By the way, these are perfect. These are like... You love them? I do love it's them. It's Karen Millen. It's so nice. Thank you anyway, so much. <laughs> so, I, no, but okay, on a serious note, because I now realize this thing exists, I thought yeah. triggers actually existed for people who I thought had had real trauma. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And whereas everyone else who was like, my mom wasn't nice to me. I'm triggered by moms. I was like, oh, please get a grip. Okay. Including <laughs> myself. Including myself. I mean, that felt pointed at Helen, but that okay. Really no, 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 it's very <laughs> okay, much pointed yeah. at me. I mean, I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the podcast a little serious Go for, for okay. a moment. Yeah. As you know, my mother passed away in 2019 mm -hmm. and then my elder sister died last year. But she has never had trauma and she will not talk to you and about so, trauma. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, well, people die, things happen. I love them, whatever. It is a thing. And just, you know, you absorb the rhythms of life. You don't say I had mm -hmm. trauma. But then you guys, and I shouldn't be happy because it was awful. I was watching a television show from like many years ago. Called what? Bowen. It's the one where the woman is the prime minister, the Danish show. Oh, that just sounds yeah. triggering. No, well, what, it was, was fine. It, it was like a really, woman prime minister. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it was really famous and it's like this whole thing. And I was just watching it and then there's, it was just watching, watching. And maybe at some point I was like, oh, you know, huh. Just to like some little thing. Like, huh, okay. And it wasn't like a, it was a normal interaction yeah, in a right. family. That evening I was like, oh, kind of uncomfortable. And I thought maybe I ate like gluten, you know, like yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. totally have to be off gluten now. And then the following day, I was in the kitchen. This, I swear to God, if you have triggers, you better get off this podcast now because I was in the kitchen and something happened and I felt this sadness and anger rise up in my throat and it yeah. was physical. And I was like, I'm having a panic attack because I'm good with those. Yeah. Um, and suddenly I turned around and I slammed my head on the side of the fridge and I thought, I'm having a cycle. on purpose. Well, it fe well, um, I mean, who it just knows? Sort of happened. It all happened. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I felt this fury coming out of me, and I thought, first of all, I I have been a very angry person in my lifetime, so I thought, wait, what am I mad at? Yeah. The dogs, the kids. Who, no one was well, not that no one was around. They were around in, yeah. in the house in general. But then I thought, oh, I'm having a psychotic break. And of course, my next thought, because I'm not only a physical hypochondriac, I'm also a mental hypochondriac, was I'm going to pick up a knife, kill everyone in this house. So I better be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's a psychotic episode, I also only listen to true crime. So, Preach. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I was like it. waiting for like, oh, Satan told me, you know, that kind of stuff. It didn't happen. <laughs> I just backed away and I was like, this is so bad. Then I started crying. You guys, you know how I have a reputation for being very together? In that moment, I was the opposite of together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I did do was I texted my therapist and I was like, That's oh. such a together move. I'm unraveling. Let me get a professional. Because I didn't <laughs> want to so stab together. Every, no, but I'd, oh, I've been seeing okay, Obviously, if the choices are that or stabbing, stabbing well, which fine. I thought would happen. Plus, also, I'd never felt that much out of control. And I mm -hmm. have been yeah. very out of control in in my late 20s. And I know that you should call a professional. As no, I remember this chat. I had this with a, you when I was yeah, in my late 20s. You yeah. You not run into the street. You just fucking call yeah. somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I texted and... He very casually said, oh, you know, I think this is a trigger. And I was like, dude, can you use a proper, formal, psychological, professional <laughs> term and not this woke slang? And I was like, uh, slang. He was like, it's actually a word. And then I remember my mother, who was a therapist, used oh to God. say, you know your father, he woke up today and he said good morning to me and I'm triggered. I want to kill him. And I was like, <gasps> oh, what? So I just, just didn't think it was a serious term. I now appreciate my mother felt triggered. But... <laughs> my and by the way, my dad's a great guy, but you know, good fathers, great husbands can be different people. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Anyway, in the course of all that, I don't that, feel like your dad listens to Trusty Hogs. No, thank God. Okay, <laughs> but I have cousins who listen. Then they're like, "Oh, you know what?" And I'm like, "Yeah, don't yeah, yeah. yeah tell I've him. got cousins like that." Hi, Sophie and Penny. Thanks for listening. Yeah, but, yeah. meddling cousins are the worst. Carry, carry on. on. <laughs> if 
if I hear from one of my cousins that they said anything about my comedy to my dad, and then something happens to my dad, I'm making a direct link. I'm going to India. I'm going to kill them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 <laughs> okay. So you've made like a lot of uh, physical threats on a lot of different yeah, family members. Yeah, a lot of them. And, today, like, as someone actually. listens to true crime, like you've got to make sure you've got like a clean slate for when it inevitably does happen. That's fine. Because you'll get It'll caught be for in, it. I, in India, I won't get caught. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the, bo- the, the bottom line is, and I say this, and this is the serious bit. Yeah. For all those times, including with my own children, that I have doubted that stuff that we have absorbed and been better than, it can come back. And it's very scary. And if that happens to you, it's okay. It's called a trigger. <laughs> Get a professional and understand that even the most together people, they're better off addressing their triggers and mm-hmm. I'm talking about myself yeah mm-hmm. that's great and just in case you amazing. don't have a therapist yeah. you're already seeing or able to get that professional help you can call 116-123 amazing. which is a free 24 hour hotline amazing <laughs> I, but I also I think that what you're saying it speaks to one particular thing which is that like if you just because if you don't deal with things in the moment doesn't mean that they're not coming back and also even if you deal with stuff doesn't mean they won't reappear so I think it's good to be aware and I I'm, think yeah and I think the biggest uh You know, the biggest thing is to find that balance between enjoying your life and thinking, I'm coping, I'm doing really well. Mm -hmm. And having the compassion in your mind to know that if shit comes back, that you, you... you did as best as you could at that time. That's what you knew. Yes. That's really important. That's and true. I think you wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, I'm doing the best that I know. Now, if you're a an asshole that's probably not true in which case if your friends are telling you you're an asshole and you're not doing very well and you're treating people like shit this is not for you yeah But or you might not- need new friends maybe you're great and they're just awful something to think about probably mm-hmm. unlikely if just more, throw it out there. as my mother used to say if you are walking in the road and somebody comes to you they don't know you and they say hey asshole then maybe they are wrong if you're walking in the road and two people come to you and they both say, hey, asshole, but separately, maybe they are wrong. <laughs> if you're walking in the road and three people call you, let me give you information, you are an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> but that makes sense to me. Yeah. That's yeah. right. I always think It's that right. when I'm watching like, you know, these like, like Queer Eye and they're like, you at home, you're amazing. You can do anything you put your mind to because you're brilliant. It's like serial killers could be watching this. Yeah. Like stop <laughs> yes. encouraging all of us, encourage individuals. But like happens yes. if it's just like a fucking Ted Bundy that's... at home being like, you're right, I can do it. But I yeah. think that's like... why they change the format to make it so that they weren't just encouraging straight white men because they were like, I feel like these guys are not the best people to be supporting <laughs> at all times. I will say this. Um, I Congratulations think, on your first trigger, though. Like, I well, feel like it's no, a I've real, like, so coming of age. I, like, I know that. But you had your first I, one. Now, yeah, but now it's like sometimes I'm... You've opened the I box I was in now. the airport on the way to New York and I, I always buy trash, you know, at the airport, like sure. magazines and like the book. Toblerones. About, oh, no, no. Reading. Oh. Toblerone. Yeah, anyway. no, who would get a Toblerone? I fucking can't say anything. <laughs> I can't no, say anything. No, no, I buy Toblerone. Do you not That's buy not that trash. like big thing of Chubba Chubs? Oh, no, no, for the kids, yes. But the thing is, Toblerone's not trash. Toblerone's Toblerone is delicious. I mean, mind trash. Like, you know, those books about where is she now? And it's like a fiction book. And of course, the husband did it. You know, yeah, that kind like of Blood shit. Yeah, like Blood Orange. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah. And, and yeah. so this time I was buying a magazine and I was and something in me was like, wait a minute. You're going to read that article and there's a good chance you're going to cry on the flight. So if you're ready for that, do it. But bitch, this is a trigger. Fucking look out. Nice. Yeah, and I bought the magazine and I cried. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> What was it about the magazine that you thought would trigger you? Stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I've actually done a lot of research on this because I always cry on airplanes. And the reason that people always cry on movies and airplanes is because the air pressure is different, which makes you more emotional. Also, the confined space. So if you are in any way a teary mood, if you get on a flight, you will get it flushed out of you, That's which will aid you sleeping when you arrive at your destination. I highly recommend Marley and me on any flight. Or the help. I wept at the, the help. help. Why? Anything Why? like that that Why? will make you cry, do it. And then you arrive and you fall straight to sleep. It's delightful. It's so good. I only yeah. don't, I've never cried on a flight before. What? Yeah. Whoa, you're a robot. What are you talking about? They're only for crying. They're for crying and sleeping. I did, I've done a lot of flying with children who are doing the crying. Oh, okay, you don't really and have that option. prior to that, I used to do flights, show up in New York and go straight to a meeting. So I was very focused on the trade. Do you do that thing where like, oh. if the kid's crying, then you cry as well? So that's like you're all crying? Uh, no, when they were older and I would give them what here is called timeouts and they would be sad uh, and they would cry. <laughs> I would cry too because the timeouts yeah. are called timeouts, but they weren't timeouts. It was like your favorite doll is in the cupboard for the next three months. <gasps> and so they would cry and then I would cry because that's months. hard. I think it's supposed to be a minute for every year they are like no whatever 
Not, not. <laughs> and you just not fuck around. You're supposed to put them on a step the. for three minutes, not in a cupboard for three months. No, no, not the kid. The, the oh, doll. Okay, right, the doll. Okay, right. Oh my I thought God. you were talking about the kid. I don't put any of the kids in a closet. <laughs> By the way, my sister used to do that to me. So maybe the, dun, 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 that dun, might dun, be a little dun. bit uh, of some trauma. That might be why you were crying when their doll was in there. Yeah, I used oh to. Oh my gosh, like. this is fascinating. Well, Sindhu, I This is fascinating. It, it is fascinating, but also I think that thing about compassion is so true because I think Helen and I are quite guilty of not having much compassion for ourselves when we have when we do have a bad time. We'll be like, fuck, it's back. Fuck, we didn't fucking fix it. We're fucking broken. I Benji. In, instead of being like, oh, I did my best for a period of time and now today I'm not superhuman and so the compassion is a very yes i think that is and i think when i was in my 20s and 30s i had a no concept of triggers b no concept that i thought i'd always like my life was fine which my uh-huh. life has been in men in always very fine with some underlying weird stuff um but what i recognize now is and this is important to really wrap your head around time is only going in one direction like a river it flows in one direction mm-hmm. so If I don't do compassion now, tomorrow is another step in that direction. So yeah. better to get good at stuff now. Yeah. Happens if you time travel, though. <laughs> yes, Helen, that could be a thing. But I don't know anyone who time travels and I don't fucking time travel. And let me tell you, you don't either. So get compassionate with yourself today. Yes. Savage. I love that. Was like, that was like, that felt like out of like Dr. Phil that moment. It was like. Get Dr. compassionate Phil with yourself today. <laughs> I don't time travel. You don't know time travel. I don't know anyone who does time travel. <laughs> Doctor Who? Make Who's not a real Make person. It Make it stop. Um, on no, that so lovely note. Show. Right? Oh my God. That show. Honestly, have a hobby. Go on a I date. used to watch it when I was little when it was like that other Doctor Who and he had like all that white hair and was running around in like a phone box. I was like, who the Patrick fuck is this guy? Who is this? And then, then I watched The Muppet Show because that's better. It's so much better. So much better. No, so much I better. never watched The Muppet Show growing up. Is that the one where the big bird teaches you how to count? That's Sesame Street. That's Sesame, Sesame Street. Street. What are you talking Sunny about? days. Sweet I know the Muppet Christmas Carol, obviously, but I never saw Cut. <laughs> this is so sad. Your version is like, your acoustic version is really depressing. <laughs> that was, you know, when like an artist takes a lovely pop song and makes it so morose. That's what you did with the Sesame Street song. Oh, beautiful. Wait, can I hear it? The Sesame Street theme tune? Sunny days sweeping the clouds away. Na 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 to where the na na na. You know, yeah. it's just super depressing. But thank you for that rendition. Well, you have to remember when I sang that song, I had a terrible stammer, and I oh was, yeah, oh, you stammer the baby. And the kids used to call me Blackie at school and shove oh, me around. Oh. And in my head, I was always singing that song. And I won't do the stammer on this because that will fucking trigger people. But mm. let me tell yeah. you. That was, was a slower I think version. Maybe I was sad then, and <laughs> yeah. so in my head it was sad, but I was happy for the show. Okay, good. And I I'm thought pleased. every and I was convinced that Mr. Snuffleupagus was going to show up sometime and talk to me because no one I didn't have any friends, and I thought he'll be my friend. Everyone would be like, "You don't have friends." I'd be like, "I have Mr. Snuffleupagus." But instead, you got an Irish girl. I with red hair. Yeah. And that's why I love you. I love you. I love too. you too. Mm. <laughs> but Cindy's first friend looked like me. And yeah, I think she's it means... so much like you. And now I bother her all the time instead. Isn't that lovely? That is really cute, Isn't that you guys. Nice? That is I have cute. Um, I have a wait a second I have a um point to make which is simply that we need to do this problem and I think that Cindy is going to be if anything far wiser than we are usually what were you going to say the fuck do you really think that yeah I think Cindy's going to be much wiser than we are actually I have gone to for advice before and you're very good at it oh you're very measured in she, your that's advice that's what I was going to say is I find Cindy's advice too measured it's very like Like she, if anything, she asks me to look at the other person's perspective far too often. Ew. I hate it. Yeah. Well, she's always like, "Well, let's think about it from like if they because were." There's two things. One is <sighs> it's the worst. If I'm gonna give, not not that I give advice, if someone that I deeply care about is gonna ask me about something, I want them to leave that conversation with at least some tools that, in the long run, will make them stronger. Not just be like, "Yeah, that person's a dick," because you have that anyway. You don't need that from me. And also, of course, I think there. But sometimes I want it from you, Cindy, and and yeah. sometimes I can get it. But I, we have to drink a bottle of this first. Um, cheers to that. Am I right? Let's Now, do the problem. Yes, let's do the problem. Cool. Yes. So we have a uh, a wedding invite related problem. Wedding. Don't go. Ooh. 
Um, soft. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, well, who's this from? Well, they, they signed off Lady Di, but I don't know whether this is actually... I just want to say, if one they've... of the people getting married is likely to bang you at the wedding, don't go. <laughs> yes. Also, sorry, I'm sorry. They just, they signed off as Lady Di. Oh, Which is the only That's thing me and Cindy agree on. Oh, Lady like, Di, who only was thing. murdered by the royal family. Because yes. you're having a Muslim baby. Exactly. And this is the only exactly. thing we've ever agreed on over the years. Oh, is that Because like... it's the truth. <laughs> um, it, wow. That, I don't know whether this is wow. a typo or not. I agree but it actually you. reads Laddie Die. So Love that too. Okay. Laddie Die. Anyway. No one. Uh, I've Dye thought that been... about ex boyfriends of mine. Laddie Die. I love it. <laughs> 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 Could you, if you do murder, this is going to be used in evidence this podcast. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Um, so they've recently discovered the podcast, been binge listening, and uh, thank needs you so much. This problem solved. Great, so, thank you for listening. Uh, they're getting married next year. It's postponed from 2020. They're getting married. Yeah. Okay. And um, but unfortunately, because obviously the postponement and those two years has mean that they've lost friends, they've made some new friends, uh, and they're kind of having some troubles with the invite list. The main which main of which is their work friends. They have uh, some work friends and wants to invite three of them because they like them and see them outside of work. So yeah. they're not just colleagues. Yeah. Um, but one of them doesn't know, they don't know that well and doesn't really want to invite, but they are very sensitive and would be the only one oh, not invited one. and would take it badly. I can't just not invite them because I've invited two already. Yeah. Should I invite everyone or should I be honest? Honest. Uh, the wedding's on a farm quite far away, so numbers aren't too difficult, but it is a real commitment to come. So Wait, Let me just understand. There's... <laughs> Everyone would be four people. Three you want and the one lame or who you yeah. don't want. Yeah. You've yeah. got to invite them along. You've got to. It's one more person. And I disagree. For them to be left out, just that one person, I think it would create more anxiety in you. Mm -hmm. I disagree. I get that you don't want someone that you're not obsessed with at your wedding. I disagree. Such is the nature of weddings. Weddings are not when this whole narrative that we've created culturally about weddings, where it, like in the first instance anybody gets to be insulted about not being invited, is absurd. Secondarily, that it's not supposed to be a, like that it's supposed to be anything other than a celebration for the two people who are getting married is absurd. And the fact that you would have to spend such an extortion amount on said person is absurd. To my mind, you invite who you want to invite, and if the person takes it badly, you explain that you're limited financially and that it's a wedding and you don't spend any time socially together. It's one extra person, right? One extra person. And also, I'm going to... But it's never one extra person. It's never one extra person. Do you person. want to remind Catherine to look at the other person's perspective or should I? You please step Thank in. you. Thank you. I think Catherine, Andrew, please, I'm trying to... Do you know what I mean? No, don't But it's never be one extra person. It's always... And then Shut what about this person? Mouth. Shut it. <laughs> Catherine, I would ask of you... That's not polite. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Thank you. Start again. She should say sorry too. No, no, you don't say sorry, man. I would say, um, <laughs> look at the other person's perspective. If you're that one person in the office and there's only five of you in the office, so one's getting married, three are invited, and you don't get invited. Why that's would I, horrendous. Why would I want to be invited because the person felt they had to? You could always invite say me. no, but then it's done. I think it will create more anxiety and stress. But I will never know that I, I should say no because they're making me think that Cindy, I... Cindy, she's being impossible. Well, no, whenever you two are done. I just... Okay, Cindy, what's the advice? You're probably right. Tell us what's the actual answer. Yeah, probably not. Probably right. Laddie die. Listen to me. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Helen is saying, think of the person who's not invited... And you, it will decrease and the stress of the leaving someone out, having to avoid talking about it at work. One person, get it all over and done with. And Bohart has the other side, which is I only want people that I really care about Selfish at my side. wedding. Laddie Dai, I want to tell you something now. Uh, your wedding day, your wedding event, you are going to remember sweet fuck all. Oh! <laughs> okay? It is so busy and you're so charged and you're with that person that you're going to marry and that is the person you're going to be thinking about and your clothes. But, you know, that's <laughs> about it and your makeup and hair. You will <laughs> not notice who has come, who has not come. There is a... The thing about weddings is there's that rush of happiness and everyone gets scooped up in it. Then the parents cry or whatever. Maybe you cry, but then we have other problems, right? So... Whether you invite this person or not will not be relevant on the day at all. You will not remember you. You're not even, you're that moment. That wedding is going to come and go and you're going to be like, fuck. The only thing that will happen at the end of that is you will be married. So 
that'll be your game. If it was the birth of your first child, sure. Be careful who you invite. Yeah. <laughs> Because that is something you will remember very, very clearly. Did you send out invite lists for your no, labors? Like, no, like my mother-in-law wanted to be in the room. And I was like, can you be outside? Yeah. But the first picture of my child is with her. Because she was like, I'm now inside. And my what mother was behind fuck? her. But it doesn't matter. Things happen. The bottom line is this. la di dai listen. The cost to you emotionally of inviting them is zero because you're not going to remember they were there. Mm -hmm. In fact, this person could drop dead at your wedding. It really wouldn't matter to you because you're so busy getting married. It would be a, like a massive downer, but ultimately <laughs> that's the point. So here's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not thinking about the person or or you know the other side. I'm thinking of you. If I was thinking of you too, laddie die. Yeah, but for different reasons. It's inconsequential. Flip a fucking coin. It doesn't matter. I do think that the consequence of not inviting them might be higher because at you. work you'd have to be like, hey, didn't we have fun roller skating last week? Because you can't say it was your wedding. Just remember, your wedding is not something you remember. You have fun and it's all about you and fuck everyone else, man. So invite them. Who gives a shit? Thank wow. you for my wedding. Wow. And well, well, but to Bohart's point, I appreciate that, you know, you should invite who you care about. But the... The wedding party, you don't remember anything. Wow. So you, you really, it doesn't matter. Okay, so ultimately your point is weddings are forgettable and no th well they're they're you're in such a heightened state yeah. you're 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 agreeing to spend the rest of your life with a person that in that moment of time in that moment you've decided my life with this person is better. Okay. And that's all that matters, of course, and hair and makeup. But <laughs> the, you see, and I think, okay, I'll concede. I'm, you know what, I'm you know what, and willing to be wrong. And if it's far away, and if it's all that stuff, you're not paying for them to get there, are you? No, no, no. no, no. no. So you know what? If they, they come, they don't come. Have an attitude of enormous generosity on the day of your wedding, because you're not going to care. Yeah. So it's free generosity. You know. I like that. I like free that. Generosity. So, okay. I was right. I concede that you were both right. Yeah, but you see the reasoning. Yeah, I understand. It's I understand. to be very much located in yourself. You know, I had three weddings, uh, as one, one does. Well, because you know, husband is from one country, mm -hmm, I'm from mm -hmm, another country. Mm -hmm. Legally, it was in this country, and mm -hmm. our both sets of parents were like, "We want it, we want it." So I said, "Well, fine, let's." We said, "Let everyone have it," except for the. I went from work to Camden and we signed a paper. That was the wedding to me. That was the day that I signed. Mm -hmm. The two big weddings were really for my parents and for all the people they wanted to show that their child had chosen someone they had so much faith in. And uh, looking back, I didn't even know who was coming to my wedding in India because I was like, well, and there were so many dear friends of mine I didn't invite because I was like, well, it just wasn't on my mind. I couldn't believe that like, I couldn't believe that it was so, well, I could believe. My mother had a lot of opinions about who to invite. You know, I was like, fine, you do you. And I'll be honest, it hasn't bothered me even a single day. Yeah. Yeah, Some yeah. of my close friends in London are like, you didn't invite me to your wedding. I'm like, well, you're here talking to me now, bitch. So yeah. We're calm fine. the fuck down. Yeah, well, everything's fine. You Fascinating. Know? And yeah. also, if you have a real friend, they're going to be there for you when your marriage hits the rocks. Because all marriages will. Fuck the wedding. I... Fucking love that. Okay, great. Well, not a romantic take, but a take nonetheless from <laughs> Sindhu V, everybody. Um, yay. Sindhu V. Uh, <laughs> Are we seriously happy with that? No, that, we're, that, like, we're happy with like it. it? I, I felt like you don't the like the truth, like, Helen Bell. You don't remember, so who gives a fuck? Like that's about right. Yeah, and what you really want is friends when it all goes tits up, because it will. Hundred percent. All right. But it on doesn't my mum's wedding up. day, no. she had a traditional top table because obviously her mother wanted it. Of like, far like dad of the groom, like yeah, yeah, my yeah. grandfather, like mixed up with her mum. So they were on yeah, one yeah. side. And my wedding. grandfather spent the whole time talking to my mum's mum, who was like, remember the WI did the flowers at the church, all about different venereal diseases and how you get them and how you get rid of them. <laughs> That's what you remember. That's what your children That's remember. That's amazing. Whereas I know that my dad insisted on a Christmas wedding, the 28th of December, Gorgeous. because the they wouldn't need to have flowers in the church because it had already be decorated. Mm -hmm. And that's a man I trust. Frugal. Yeah. Frugal. Frugal AM. When we get married, yeah. we should do something like that. I'm joking. I'm going to get married at the Cinderella Castle at Disneyland. Yes. 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 Gorgeous. Yes. 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 
yes, so, you should do that. So Everyone who's been like rolling their eyes by Disney no, over the years are going to come and they're going to be utterly charmed. You have to do that. I know. You I should know. do that. That would be amazing. Yeah. I just need to find the man willing to do it with okay. me. By the way, on that, since we're on weddings, that is the energy you need. What does it mean to you? Yeah, Fuck I love that. Else. That's nice. And Minnie Mouse and is going to like officiate Minnie the whole ceremony. Minnie Mouse. You're Juliet. You what the fuck is going on? on? You don't know the song Minnie Mouse? M I C K E Y. No, there's a song that that there's a song about Minnie Mouse and how great she is. You don't know? This might be like Mi- a you thing. Did you know like, that? Do you want me to fucking play it on my phone? You can play it at the end. Yeah, but no, but I don't think it's like. You know, it says. Minnie Mouse is just a mouse. That's like saying Taj Mahal is just a house. It's like, it's not a house, but yeah, I get it. Are you sure this isn't like an, an I'm Indian gonna play thing it. that is references this an Indian the Taj thing? Mahal? Dude, there's an I'm American... Just... I'm going to fucking play it on this podcast. Do not let me not play it. Um, also, I just want to say, as for the man who is willing and all that, drop that shit. This guy wants to marry you? Yeah. That's it. That's oh, no, it. No, no, I mean, I, a guy who's like willing to financially support, because I can't afford a wedding at Disney. I've put them up. <laughs> I've oh, I'll the, find um, you that. Di- Don't would you actually? Yeah. Oh my God, could you arrange a marriage for <laughs> Helen? I wouldn't arrange it. I wouldn't There's a wedding that. pavilion at the Grand Floridian Hotel, which I is a 12 minute walk from the Magic I've Kingdom. I've seen it. <laughs> I've stayed at the Grand Floridian. <laughs> and yes. Yeah. Yes. So I've seen I want it. that, but like, I want to do. Like, Helen's getting married. Closing time outside the castle, but I want the aisle to be the whole of Main Street, USA. And I'll just be going down like I'm parading. Okay, and I just want to say, you will appreciate this. My niece got married and she loves Disneyland. So she got married in India and then for their honeymoon... Sweetheart's honeymoon? I sent... I got them the package at Disneyland and they did fireworks for them for their honeymoon (gasps) while they were on the boat. Oh my God, are you... And Helen, I'll tell you something. When you get married if it is at Grand Floridian I don't care and please let this be known for posterity you find me and I will do fireworks for you oh you find God. me Helen okay. I'm not even kidding if I go single this year would you do like a single sweetheart like so like trip no okay <laughs> But also, I'm... Bohart knows me enough to know if I've said it oh no I'll she will it. do that for you if you find the man she'll do it she okay will... um Slide into my DMs. Um, I'm looking for a single man, um, over 30. Mm-hmm. Um, height and looks not that fast, but hair is, I love hair. Like hairy men, big and fan of it. He has oh to be God. He has to be willing and keen to give a lot of head. Oh my the God, only way yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very lazy in bed. Yeah, so like, as... lick me out, eat, but I might fall asleep, but I won't charge you for anything. Yeah, I mean, as what's her name said, Tina Fey's partner. Uh, what's her name? Pola. Yeah. If you're not oh, ready to eat pussy, move on. Yeah, keep, keep walking. Um, and I will cook for you because I like cooking. Yes, and I will be very generous in many ways apart from sexually. Great, great. Yes, and she'll be Helen, and no one ever can give you that but Helen. Right? Let's get this ball rolling. Be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, slide into my DMs genuinely. I'm or single. Or slide into mine or Cindy's and we'll vet them. Yeah, I've never had no, anyone DM sliding. Because they all the but gay men, which I will like. I I, I haven't gone on a date with a gay man in so long. We have to weed out the gays because she attracts solely gay men. And this package, by the way, is not going to dis- disincentivize the gay men. <laughs> it's like, do you want to have the licking pussy? Does does. Yeah, okay, so that's, that's the one let's thing. Let's put that at the four. Okay, great, amazing. But Thank ideally, you. like, you'd propose to me outside Mean Girls the Musical. Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't, get, don't be greedy. Yeah, that feels like a just lot. just Disney? Yeah, it feels like you want a lot. <sighs> it feels like you want a lot. Um, Cindy, you've been an amazing guest. Thank, Thank you, you so I've, much for I've, coming I've on. I've been dying to come on this podcast. I'm going to Isadora Duncan myself on Space Mountain with my veil. What does that mean? Space Mountain is so good. What does Isadora Duncan yourself? She's from? that ballet dancer that had like a, one of the most famous deaths in the world. She put on, she's like leaving yeah. the theater and she had a scarf on and she went, farewell, and like waved to her crowd and then got caught in the tire <gasps> and then she got died. decapitated. Yeah. No! Yeah. yeah, she was like, Good evening. But don't do that on Space Mountain. By the way, I've taken each of my kids when they turn five to, to Disney because it's important. That's so sweet. Yeah, each of them. What a life. Oh and my God. E- and, and my grandchildren. By the grace of God, if I'm around. I was when, about to say, you when, do not have grandchildren no, yet. But by the grace of God. And when they turn five, I'll say to my kids, hand me the kid and back the fuck off. I'm taking them to this <laughs> one. I, uh, my amazing. grandma took me to Devon and I severely burnt my chin trying to smell pizza. Mine would only play cards with me if I played for cash. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah, she was like, don't come no, to me with no, that change. No. Oh, Remember good. change? I want real money, she said to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Once, okay, so in Edinburgh or, or somewhere that I was in. She I, was trying to pay the bill with pennies. No, I, I, if they were pound coins. She's a baby. They were pound, pennies, pound coins. And Cindy was like, oh, 
I have real money. Put that away. And then I had to scoop my shrapnel back off the table and was like, honestly, don't mind free lunch. I, Thank you so much. But I also paid like for everyone. I was like, just let's have some crunchy money, not the things. Yeah, but you're very money. generous. That's like I'm part of what no, you are. You are no, she just yeah. seemed embarrassed of me. I hate you. I hate so much <laughs> that you stand for and who but you, you are, are. generous. But you're very generous. She is. Oh my gosh, Cindy V, but before you so go. So unkind. Yeah. <laughs> rude, rude, but also very, We're very still generous. Friends. We are. We are. Cindy and V. We I have worked together. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And <laughs> I don't, I don't get to play us out with the song. Yeah, before that, Cindy V, is there anything you like to plug? Can people people can see you on tours? They're still Oh yeah, I'm on I'm in February. There's some dates there on my website, yeah. cindyv.com. Yes. My phone is in my jacket. Can, and the please, tour is called Alphabet. It's called Alphabet and it's uh I'll catch it. It's no. 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 It's like all of her comments the same as my kids. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so they can come see Alphabet. Is there anything else you'd like them to check out? Cindy V on TikTok, uh, Instagram, Twitter? Yeah, all of those. Uh, but also Trusty Hogs, such a great podcast. Um, um, but we'll be tagging Cindy and everything in case you're not following her. Okay, so you wait, can yeah. hold on, hold on. Just so that I this can This song get... doesn't exist. If I it existed, I would know about it. Do you know it. what? I... I'll I, bet it's called wish... Indian Mickey Mouse. Yes. Yes. Mickey okay, Mouse? Mickey Mouse. It's, it's called Minnie Mouse. Oh, oh what a horrible... Here we go. Oh, actually, actually I love it's, it. It's a really good song. <laughs> Look at her vaping. <laughs> I wish... Minnie Mouse. Mouse. Oh my God. She's just a mouse. Just a mouse. Taj Mahal is next to house. Just a house. What a house. Oh my God. I love Minnie. By the way, this is the alphabet playlist. Like when the audience comes in, they're listening. You play Phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. Done. Done. Everyone, give it up Fuck for Cindy V. Woo, woo, woo. Yes. Amazing. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. So we want to do a shout out to our amazing supporters we've got so far. Thank you so much to our executive producers, Janina Bautista, Simon Moore, Sky Goodman, and Mary Fox. We're so grateful. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and to our incredible producers, Melissa Dunkeld, Kerrick. Jude, Sarah and Molly, Aidan McQueen, Caitlin Liss, Joe Holmes, Zoe, Kim Doyle, Lim, Lee Myerskoff, Rachel, what are you doing? You were just punching the air every time. Because I, I want to <laughs> celebrate all of them. <laughs> Lee Myerskoff, Rachel, yeah. oh, David Walker, Tim and Dom, Kira Leach, SD Dubs, L, Richard Bold, Sadie Cashmore, Neil Redmond, Claire Owen Jones, Jess and Nick, Victoria Hutchison, Emma Walton, Anthony Conway, Karen and David Bull, Harold Van Dyke. Wow, thank you. You make the world a better place. You God make our world better. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>